Mansion of Madness by Nuclear Potato is a boom map for a, a project, an, um, an upcoming project, I guess. So here it is in its semi-final state. Hurt me plenty on GL Boom here. Nuclear Potatoes, Mansion of Madness. Um, 61 monsters, 3 secrets, 20 items. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and try this on Ultraviolence. Same thing. So the music is, uh, what is this music? This is from And Hell Followed, maybe? From Thy Flesh Consumed and I think another one in Inferno. I can't remember exactly. Definitely something in Doom 1. First thing I notice is a lot of the a lot of this uh, brick texture. And you got some you got some decent angles out there. It's not the exact same on this side. Obviously, this side has a window and some different uh, architecture. So that's nice. But yeah, a ton of this texture here. Now I do like this kind of empty feeling. You know, this huge space makes you think that. There might be like a Cyrenian fight in here or something later on. Oh. Speaking of Cyrenian. I mean, you got a skylight up there, you got a nice blood fall, which are, which are nice touches, but you just got too much of this texture going on, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't help that you've got a lot of right angles. You know, this room's a rectangle. There's a rectangular area there. You know, this room's a little better. It's got some more detail. It's got, obviously, the gray mixed in with the greenish. Uh, got some lighting variation down here, but yeah, just kind of, kind of dull looking. Um, which yeah, I, I think you can sometimes get away with that, especially in maybe a map set where you've, where you've got other maps to show what you can do, but in a single map, I mean, here's, yeah, it's just, Inside walls and outside walls, there's tons and tons of this brick here. There's armor for me. Oh crap, I got no I got nothing. Okay, there's another stim pack in here, right? No. Um Well, maybe there's a shotgun in here or more bullets. Oh, I'm shot. Yeah, pretty basic library in here. Oh, I can go up here. Okay. Libraries are maybe a little bit overdone because um, they're kind of easy to just throw in and think you got something good. Uh -oh. But here you've got a, rect a perfect rectangle, almost even a square. Um, you've got just four by two cases of books, you know, perfectly neat. There's kind of a tension between a good Doom map and good real-life architecture. You know, sometimes the nice lines and the nice symmetry of real life just doesn't work as well in a Doom map. Um, yeah, here I noticed you've got this line marked so that I know that 
it's either a secret or there's some monsters coming out of there later or something. Alright. Well, at least I got 12 shells and a shotgun. There's another door. Well, let's... Keep on going. I think there's only been. What was that? Uh oh. Yeah, of, of floors that I can actually walk on, it's been like 99% this one. Here's a little bit of something different. And then in the library room, when you walk on top of the bookshelves, you get some wood, obviously. Other than that, this is all we've had. You know, give me some rug. If, if you want to go with this theme, give me some carpet or rug somewhere or something, maybe. I like the shading here. That's nice. much room space for the combat so far um, and not really enough ammo There doesn't really seem to be a point to come up. Oh, I forgot about this door. Hmm. Oh, boy. What did we get ourselves into here? gotta find myself some ammo here. I can do about that many enemies with no ammo.
I didn't come in here last time. Actually. But, uh, yeah, either way, you don't want to design a map so that you need to go a certain way first. Or you're gonna have a way rougher time. If there are multiple ways to go. Because getting the rocket launch is gonna make quite a bit of difference in that other area. Still not killing these zips, though. Impacts up here. But there are imps in the way. I was a little reckless with the rockets there. Uh, this area is kind of cool actually with the blood coming down, making these stairs of blood. Nice cavernous area. Um, a little bit monotonous maybe, but you got a different colored ceiling there. Um, yeah, then there's all that. So there's nothing really there. Save it here. That works for me.
That's it. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Not really my favorite map ever. Uh, first of all, visually, it just kind of lacked in the main area. Just a bunch of brick inside and outside. Not a lot of detailing. Uh, a lot of wide open spaces makes the first bunch of combat pretty much nothing. Um, but then uh, that combined with like uh, kind of an odd ammo situation, because if you go to the red key area first, you get the rocket launcher, and there's like enough rockets to get by. But if you don't go that way first, then you know you're kind of screwed like I was. Um, I don't like the drop into the damaging floor with nothing you can do about it. Uh, I feel like I, I missed a bunch of the map. I kind of randomly appeared back in that library area. I went back there to try to get the health on it. I was on top of the bookshelves, and that turned out to be the way to go. So I didn't explore any more of that damaging floor path where that might have gone, because uh, I didn't find a suit or anything. Uh, so yeah, not uh, not really my my favorite map there. Um, I guess I, I I I did like a couple parts, like in particular after getting the one key, you get some uh, man cubi coming in as well as pain elementals, and then that area looks pretty cool. Um, a decent trap in the Hell Knight room where you get the uh, rocket launcher as well. Um, so yeah, but kind of just combat and gameplay wise kind of hit or miss with the different parts of it and then visually Kind of the same thing, but I think I'm afraid mostly miss just because of the very uh, Kind of generic Rick texture everywhere um, Without much detailing and without much uh, variation so that's uh Mansion of Madness by Nuclear Potato.